Alrighty, we're in the kitchen today with the one and only Betty Swain from the Lunch Bell, along with granddaughter Mallory. Welcome back. And speaking of Thank amazing you. moms, something tells me this is an amazing mom right here. <laughs> An amazing grandmother, too, huh, Mallory? She the best? One of the best I've ever the had. One, the one of the best you've ever had. Okay, so uh, what are you making for us today? Whenever you're here, it's always a special treat. What do you got? I'm going to make uh, one of my favorite things, and it's the pineapple layer cake, which is uh, named Aunt Della's pineapple cake in my cookbook. One of your favorites out of the cookbook. The last time mm -hmm. you made the coconut, coconut cake, which yeah. just blew us away. Something yeah. tells you this is going to be right there with it. It is good. It, it is, is good. good. Yes. She didn't bring husband Bill along, but that's okay, Bill. Maybe next time you'll join us. He'll be back. He did a great <laughs> job with his deviled eggs, but uh, we're going to get cooking here in the, in the kitchen with, with okay. Betty and Mallory in just a minute. We're back in the kitchen with the one and only Betty Swain from the Lunch Bell in Newport News, along with her granddaughter, Mallory, and she is making one of her amazing desserts. It is Aunt Della's Pineapple Cake. And when I heard you were making Aunt Della's Pineapple Cake, I just, and I told you this, I have an Aunt Della down in North Carolina, just like yourself. Aunt Della, your Aunt Della was in Goldsboro. No, Roper. Roper, my bad. Roper. Mine was in Clinton. Yeah. That's interesting. It's like... Southern thing, kind of odd. But look, tell me about the history behind this cake. She um, made this cake um, for her family. She was known for it. And uh, she, she's she been dead a long time. Mm. But uh, every time I made a cake, my father-in-law would say to me, your cake is good, but it's not as good as Della's pineapple cake. Oh. So I wrote to her and asked her if she'd share her recipe. So many years ago, she sent me this recipe, and I've been making it ever since. It's what I take to people or give to people when I want to give them something special, like a death in the family or something, something to cheer people up. So. And it is one of the featured desserts mm -hmm. in your, your great cookbook right. over there. And as you can mm -hmm. tell, I mean, it's even on the front cover, the mm -hmm. pineapple cake that you're going to make for us today. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and go ahead and get started on okay. it. Tell gonna us make what we the, need to know. I'm going to make the topping. I okay. put a can of pineapple, cup and a half of sugar. We're not scrimping on the sugar right there. What's mm -mm. that? This is cornstarch. Okay. Okay. And what does the cornstarch do? It thickens it. Okay. Mm hmm It makes it thick, so good. Okay, and you're just going to mix that together? Just going to mix this together, and then I'm going to cook it in the microwave for five minutes. Okay. Are you going to add anything else to it? Mm-hmm. Okay. This gives it some zip. And this is lemon juice. All right. There's the lemon juice. Mm-hmm. And it's ready to go in the microwave. Okay, while you put it in the microwave, I'm going to turn to Mallory here. I'm going to talk about the Lunch Bell, located there in City Center in uh, Newport News. And in case you haven't found it, you're missing out. The food there is amazing. And this time of year, City Center is really hopping. Oh, yes. Um, Fridays at the Fountains feature a local band. does a mm -hmm. concert every Friday night, and it's free. Bring your lawn chairs, blankets, hang out with your family. There's dancing. Um, a lot of great bands. Uh, there's a movie theater opening the 20th of this month. Very nice. Um, and a couple of new restaurants coming. There's ice cream shops and everything. It's a happening yeah. place, but you know, the place to start is at the uh, Lunch Bell. Your favorite over there, Mallory. Oh, my goodness. I um, know, I know. I put you on the spot. Yeah. Your go-to. You always do this to I me. know, um, I know. I put you on the spot. One of I, your favorites. Sour cream lemon pie. Sa sour cream lemon pie. But as for, say, for lunch. For lunch, I like fish and chips. Fish and chips. We have really good seafood. I hear the chicken salad's pretty good, huh, Betty? Chicken salad yeah. is chicken number salad's one. Chicken salad's number one. Mm -hmm. So uh, you got a bunch of uh, yeah, local... Yeah, but we are doing seafood now, uh, making it very popular. We are doing oysters and cod mm -hmm. and flounder. Crab uh, shrimp And we have delicious crab cakes. Mm -hmm. and but it's, but it's the country cooking mm -hmm. that people usually right. come in the door right. for. And so mm -hmm. uh, lunch specials, what, are, right. what, is, what is going out the door on, on during lunch most of the time? Um... Well, I think the daily special is one of the draws. Remember we did uh, mm -hmm. the hot chicken salad? Oh, yeah. Well, that's Monday and Thursday. And then Wednesdays we have a beef special, and Tuesday we have an assortment of specials. And then Friday and actually Thursday and Friday we have two specials, but they, uh, Thursday is the... Um, Hot chicken salad and a seafood. It's crab cakes. C country cooking at its finest. Yeah. And if you ever have a question or want a great cookbook, the cookbook over here is amazing. Tell us quickly about that, Betty. Well, in, in 2010, we printed the cookbook, and um, we have um, we've sold almost 4,000. I think it's right oh, at 4,000 wow. of the cookbooks that we had. And uh, uh, we invited our customers and our families to uh, contribute to it. It's been very popular. People are using it for gifts, and, and mm -hmm. I, every day somebody tells me they've got my cookbook and they love it. 
Uh, we just put recipes that are, are simple, and then we spent extra time making it so that you could understand it. And those of you who cook knows how important it is. And it sounds like it would make a great Mother's Day gift. It would. And a couple of days ago, we right. asked mothers, what does, mother, what does the mother really want for Mother's Day? You and Bill have been married for over 50 years. What do you want for Mother's Day, Betty? Just to have family to be together. Once That's family what we to be do. together. Uh -huh. Well, today we have uh, Betty and Mallory from the Lunch Bell together. There's a picture of the family right there. We're so glad you've joined us. We're going to wrap up the pineapple cake in just a minute. Aunt Della's pineapple cake. So stick around, everybody. We are back in the kitchen with Betty Swain and granddaughter Mallory from the Lunch Bell in Newport News. They're wrapping up Aunt Della's pineapple cake, and something tells me that this is going to be very moist, Betty. It is. It's very moist. And, and don't shy away from serving it while, it, while it's still hot, because that's when I think it's really good. Okay, so you uh, heated up the pineapple in mm -hmm. the microwave. Right. I do everything in the microwave. Yes. <laughs> It's a modern convenience that we all can't do without. Yeah, well, it makes it my, my life easy because it's fast. So I can just do. And we like that. But, you know, most people might put three layers on their cake. But not you, Betty. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. You make it nice and tall. You're going four layers on this cake that uh, from time to time can be offered there at the lunch bell, right? Mm-hmm. If not this one, uh, some other kind. Yeah, okay. That's good. And, and so, so if people are just tuning in for the first time and finding out about the Lunch Bell, what other cakes are popular over there? Uh, the chocolate cream cake is definitely the most popular. Mm -hmm. um, the orange pineapple layer cake, which is different than this one. It has um, oranges in the frosting. and um, Then the good cake is very popular. The, the, the good cake? Yes. The good cake. Yes. Yeah, the they're, they're all good cakes, right? Customer yes. named it that. Too. It got named the good cake because it what didn't is have the a name. Good, it didn't have a name? It's got to no. have something. No, I just put it together one day. She I was looking for something. And I put it together and put it out for sale. And the, uh, people started coming in and saying, when is Betty going to make that good cake again? Oh, that good cake. Uh-huh. And what it is it, Betty? Going. It's, it's a yellow cake. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, I have a sauce that I bring to a boil and put over it and um, punch holes in the cake and then pour the sauce over it. Then I may uh, pour a can of pineapple over top of that, mm -hmm. and that not cooked pineapple, just plain pineapple, right. and out of the can. And then um, I make a cream cheese frosting and put oh, that wow. on top of that, and it's sprinkled with coconut. So and I it's did, very moist. I'm sure it is. I'm, I asked you about carrot cake, my favorite. You do that too, right? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know a lot of restaurants. They just uh, they open up the freezer, they thaw it out, mm -mm. they serve it. You don't do that at the, no, at the lunch bell. No, I don't. I mean, no, you, we you, grate the carrots. We do it all. You do everything by mm -hmm. uh, by hand. I mean, that's the difference between the lunch bell and so many other that's restaurants. Right. It's all done by hand, mm -hmm. home cooking at its finest, made with love. I mean, look at this. You've been at it for a long time. You you enjoy this, don't you? I love it. Yeah. I really do. I love it. I'm, I'm the happiest when I'm in the kitchen. Oh, mm -hmm. that's very nice. Yes. And you're sharing that with the family. I know Mallory's here and Bill's at home. And I mean, it's just, it's kind of neat, isn't it? Whoa, whoa, right. you got one extra? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> got your name on it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. Okay, uh, once again, Mallory, Lunch Bell, what's the latest? Um, lots of fun things happening this summer in City, City Center. Center. That's right. Yes, yes. So, definitely a lot to check out. We're, um, we're open. Monday through Friday, 6.30 to 4. Very nice. Um, Saturdays from 8 to 2. We serve breakfast all day on Saturday. So it doesn't matter what time you get up on Saturday. You still have breakfast. Okay, if anybody wants to maybe pick up uh, one of these Lunch Bell um, cookbooks, where can they do that? Because it makes a great uh, Mother's Day gift. Uh, we have them for sale at the Lunch Bell, and mm -hmm. they're also available uh, a couple other places. Um, Amazon has them, you okay. can order online, um, but our website, Barnes and Noble, Bell, they're at Barnes and Noble. Also. Barnes and Noble. Uh, the lunchbell.com has a list of all the places you can get it, um, the Hydewood Pharmacy, right. um, a couple of different places over on the peninsula. And um, you're not going to um, go ahead and, and ice it. I'm going to ice it just a little bit. You're going to ice it a little bit? Yeah, yeah I got, got it. Because it seemed like it was kind of hot. Yeah. So yeah. You go ahead and ice it up. And, and while you're here, give a shout out to husband Bill. I mean, uh, he, said, Hi, have, Bill. He, said, he said have fun. He, said, he didn't say good luck this yeah, time. He, he said have fun, right? Yeah, after he came last month, he, he changed his opinion of what I was doing. And he, 
he, he, it was fun for him. You he know, really he, enjoyed it. He had so many people to tell him that they saw him on TV. He's, and he's extremely popular already. And yes, he, he is. He was on the Hampton Road Show, and now he's super popular. He is so loved. Listen, if you go to the lunch bell, have lunch, have one of these amazing desserts, say hello to Betty, say hello to Bill or Mal or whoever, and tell them you saw it on the Hampton Road Show. Don't forget, the Lunch Bell Family Restaurant is located at 694 Town Center Drive, City Center in Newport News. Give them a call, 873-1839. Find out more online. Check out their amazing menu at thelunchbell.com. Don't forget about their cookbook. Betty, have a great Mother's Day. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for having us again. We, we enjoy coming over here and seeing you all.